So what motivated you at this point in your life to write your memoir? Was it the story of your life you wanted it as, as you wanted it to be passed along or an attempt to set the record straight? Or was it personal therapy for the times of your life? All of those. <laughs> but um, most of all, I have a 28-year-old daughter, Dreama. And she said she has always wanted me to write a book because she was born after my TV career. Right. And when we'd be on the street and people would talk to me uh, when she was a child, she really didn't know what they were talking about <laughs> because I was mom to her and I was like magical because I could do all these funny voices and dress up in costumes and, you know, <laughs> sing around the house. So she wanted me to write the story of my life and career. And when the pandemic came, she had come back from Japan where she was teaching English. Wow. And all our lives changed, everything shut down. She could not go back to her teaching position. And she said, mom, I really think it's time to write the book. Please write down all your memories because you know, Nanny, that was my mom, her grandmother. She had Alzheimer's and she forgot hers. And if Alzheimer's runs in our family, then you'd have a book of all the people you met and all the things that happened to you. And, and I, if you ever forget them, I could read the book back to you. <laughs> so um, I'm sure you include a lot of this in the book, but which of the country legends you were able to meet seem most real and approachable? And what personality trait do you think made them that way? Uh, Kenny Rogers. The gambler. He happened to be married to my best friend on the show, Marianne. Okay. And she met him on the show. And when she met him, he had no money. So that is in the book. And um, they really did save my life. And that is in the book. Okay. And I think as talented as Kenny was, the thing that was greatest about Kenny Rogers was his empathy his ability to understand other people's troubles and to do something about it. So I'd say, and I worked with many and I loved them all. Yeah, yeah. But uh, Marianne- That's a beautiful Kenny, story. They literally saved my life and that's in the book. You did a legendary pictorial for Playboy magazine. What kind of, de what kind of debate did you have regarding this gig? What do you think of now that you can bring up that image in one second on the internet? Uh, my daughter's not happy about it. <laughs> she was applying for her SATs and when she puts her name in, there's a picture of me and her playboy. She goes, mom, how could you? <laughs> you know? I said, hey, I was in one of the most famous issues of playboy there ever was. I was in the Jimmy Carter issue but he wore uh, more clothes <laughs> you know so it's like um i tell the whole story of that and yeah how when they shot the pictorial how funny it was because i was so incredibly shy i i, I didn't want to take anything off <laughs> uh. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> you know there are so many men i'm me who are older now yeah. who say you know i have that in my closet i've had that in my closet since i was a teenager you know and then i did a poster for star makers in my hee-haw shorts and that's yeah, what my copies and i'm surprised how many men have that in their closet so uh so obviously it's the holidays and all these hee-haw fans would definitely like to have misty memories can you give us all the information for the book and uh anything else you're doing special with it the name of the book is misty memories and you can purchase it at amazon.com you can also leave a review if you buy the book there but the book has its own website mistyrowbook.com you can purchase it there and the book's website mistyrowbook.com you can purchase a Zoom signing. So, uh, because I can't go out in person and sign the book, 
during the pandemic and I want everybody to be safe. My daughter runs the Zoom signings and I will sign the book in front of the person. This is Patrick McDonald for HollywoodChicago.com, copyright 2020.